The ethnic tribe of Bote of Terai lives near the tourist village of Soraha on the banks of the East Rakti River. The village overlooks the Chitwan National Park, famous for its rhinos and karyats. Rishiram Bote and his brothers, Parshuram, Deepak and Pratik, are the last few members of the Bote community in Soraha. They go out to fish at 6 or 7 a.m. in two small fishing boats made of shimul wood. These licensed fishermen are not allowed to use the longer nets because crocodiles get entangled in them. So they have to be satisfied with whatever they can haul in their smaller nets. They leave at 6 or 7 a.m. daily. In winters, it becomes difficult to wake up so early. Thick fog enveloping wintry mornings has its own challenges. They are not allowed to fish at night, so survival is difficult. The dangers of fishing in crocodile-infested waters and a dense forest full of wild animals are plenty. Karyals get entangled in the nets. The reptiles have to be disentangled carefully and taken to the Gharial breeding farm in the forest reserve. Losing friends and family to the crocodiles is common. The misty winters and tall, thick Fanta grass have rhinoceroses and elephants lurking in them. The fishermen and rhinos frequently cross paths. Encountering tigers and elephants can be risky. The fishermen return at around 5 pm with their small handheld fishing nets full of fish. The women and children bring plastic basins and sharp machetes to unload the fish. Sometimes the fish weigh around 10 kg. Around 120 kinds of fish like big head carps, silver carps, rohu, naini, mrigal, silverfish and catfish can be found in the cool waters of Rapti. The day's catch is sold to the men who are regular customers. Most of them are hoteliers who resell the fish at triple the cost price. If it's a good day, the entire lot is sold off within minutes. All the fish do not always sell. The bottes dry the unsold fish and consume it themselves. They also grow crops and sell chicken, eggs and elephant grass. They eat dal, rice, fish, mutton, chicken, buffalo meat, and homegrown vegetables. The name Bote may have originated from Bot, meaning tree. Before they began making boats, these people would lay tree trunks or branches athwart a river in order to cross over. Or it might be that these poor people took shelter under trees on the waterfront as they did not own land or houses. So they came to be known as Bottes. The Bottes are culturally and economically backward and different from the more known Tharu community. The Bote language, dress, dances and songs are indigenous. The Bote language does not have a script. The main livelihood of the Bottes is fishing, paddling boats, gold panning as well as collecting wood, elephant grass and edible ferns from the forest. However, since the Chitwan National Park was established, fishing activities have been regulated with strict guidelines. Their solar-powered houses are made of mud and cow dung, and the roofs are made from elephant grass, which have to be rethatched annually. Many members of the community have moved on from Soraha in search of greener pastures. Rishi's family has continued fishing. They have been living here for more than 35 years. Rishi could not continue his studies due to family responsibilities. He encourages the children to pursue their dreams. His four children and Parashuram's two sons want to continue their studies though they are yet unsure of their professional goals. Their school timings do not allow them to go fishing with their fathers. Hence, their interest in fishing is flagged. The girls go to school where they learn Nepali, English and mathematics. They also help with the housework. Poverty, however, has not been able to stop the bodies from proudly working together. Hopefully, literacy and sustainable livelihood programs will uplift their socio-economic status and preserve their traditions and culture.